Hello guys, today I will show you how to make this easy skirt with inverted darts. I will explain you what type of fabric to purchase to achieve natural fullness because there is no petite coat underneath. This fabric is so easy to use, edges don't shred, therefore I didn't use an overlocker, it saved me tons of time, so if you're interested stay tuned, subscribe and let's start. Hello Sparkle, are you helping me? No. Okay, for fabric I chose scuba type material. We are a long way from times when scuba fabric were used only for divers. Nowadays you can find lots of scuba materials with fun prints and different thickness. I'm not surprised, this fabric is so light, easy to sew, doesn't shred and doesn't crease. The width of my fabric is way too long, so I cut it in half. I will need to cut two pieces, one for the belt, length of which measurement of my waist, and the skirt part have to be three times longer than the belt length, because I'm going to make inverted pleats. Next, I measure pleats lengths, making marks of 7 cm through the length of the skirt. You can make pleats as wide or narrow as you like. First, I made my pleats at 7 cm, but once I've started to gather them, I've realized that I don't like they come out way too wide, so I decided to make them smaller, 3.5 cm. pleats are gathered, I'm going to stitch them before attaching belt to the waistline. I set my sewing machine for medium cover stitch. Please remember, the thicker is fabric, the thicker needle you need to use. Then I start attaching the belt. I need to find the middle point of the belt and the skirt. That's where I will start my sewing, moving from the center to one end, then from the center to another. I face fabrics right way to each other, so I can stitch it along the edge with about one centimeter allowance. First, I'm attaching one end of the belt to the edge of the skirt. Then I will have to fold the belt from another side and make another stitch. But I'm not going to do this just yet. I need to insert the zip. This is much more important at this stage. I could not find this right size zip, so I made longer, shorter. I secure it first with this thread, so it doesn't come apart, and then cut. After installing zip foot, I grab the belt and mark the fold line with the pin. Then I grab one side of the zip by end and apply to the edge of the belt starting from the middle where the fold line. As you can see, for the left side of the zip I use right foot and for the right side of the zip I will use left foot, therefore I will have to change it. When 
I finish with left side, I fold the belt inside out and stitch it again, very close to the zip. This is to secure belt end in place and achieve cleaner finish on the outside when we're going to turn the side out. Then change the foot and do everything the same with another side. After zip is inserted, I fold the belt and before stitching on the machine, I secure it with pins. Otherwise, fabric is too thick. On the picture, you see three cover stitches line. One is to secure the other side of the belt. And another two are top stitches. It's pointless to iron this fabric and the belt, it's better to make cover stitches. I didn't forget about the back stitch where zip is ended. I need to continue thread all the way to the bottom of the skirt. And the last cover stitch at the bottom of the skirt with 2 cm seam allowance. Again, I make 2 cover stitches because fabric doesn't bend properly. That's it really. The skirt is ready guys, no difficult at all is it? I wish everybody all the best, Asana DIY, bye bye!